So if you watch my channel, you know that for a long time we've been getting a lot of Black Series. Seems like the last three months it's been Black Series, Black Series, Black Series. Tick trickles of TBC here. Well, I just got the newest wave of TBC and I'm going to start going through those here. So I'll start with Luke Skywalker. They call this the Imperial Light Cruiser one. It's from the Mandalorian. See in there, uh, it's our basic Jedi Luke's got a lightsaber, uh, the blaster again, although why? <laughs> that's more of a, you know, that's the palace blaster from um, Return of the Jedi, but okay. And the hilt on the back, we see this is uh, VC-264. You can see all the, it's like, these are older figures, cool figures, and this is all the stuff in this wave. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Imperial Light Cruiser Luke. So here's our new Luke Skywalker figure. We can put his hood down here. See the head there. <laughs> Looks a little bit better than what we got in that last uh, episode of Season 2 of The Mandalorian there. Uh, but looks pretty good. Curious to see if there's any reused parts here based on other Luke Skywalkers. Nice to get the cloth goods uh, uh, cape here. The uh, original Return of the Jedi Luke Skywalker, the vintage one, is probably one of my favorite vintage figures. The hood actually looks pretty good. In fact, if I compare here to the card image, that's not far off, actually. That's pretty good. For three and three quarter inch cloth goods, it's not bad. Uh, let's see, does he have a hole on his belt? Yes, he does. So we can put his lightsaber on his belt if we want. Every once in a while, they include the lightsaber to go on the belt, and then they don't have a place to put it. Um, he, like I said, he did come with the Java's Palace Blaster, which has got a nice little wash on it and extra paint and everything. It's interesting, because we don't see that a lot in, like, Black Series <laughs> weapons. But and then we have his, of course, green lightsaber, which we can give him. So he's got the wrist articulation, so you can create the way he was carrying his lightsaber in the scene, which is pretty cool. Um, it's a great figure. Um, I'm glad to get this, but how does this compare to previous Luke Skywalker? So this is the previous TVC release of Luke, and already I can look at the chest and just look at that detail right there on the chest, and it's exactly the same. Now you can see the, the below the belt is a little different. Move his hands here. The belt itself is a little different. He has a little buckle on there, whereas he didn't have that before. The legs are different. I mean, they could be reused from somewhere else, but you can see these are much smoother. Uh, the boots do look like they could be the same. Uh, hands look to be the same. This one's just flesh colored, and this one is now with the glove, black. But what about the head? Here's a look at the two heads, with the one on the left being the previous TVC release, one on the right being our Mandalorian one here. You can see a different color in the hair. The face looks to be the same sculpt. That looks to be the same hair, too. So it's mostly a reuse of the previous TVC um, Jedi Luke, which was also from that San Diego Comic-Con 3-pack from years ago as well, um, with a couple of new pieces added to it. But still, it's good to get an actual Mandalorian flavored, if you will. I mean, the belt buckle does help because that was very prominent on him when he came in there. But to get a Mandalorian Luke Skywalker is pretty cool. I'm sure we'll see a Book of Boba Fett one in the future as well.